Hey everyone, I'm excited to let you all know that you can finally download and play the Season 2 One Health Hardcore Data Pack. But wait a minute, you may have noticed that I share two separate versions of the data pack. Oh and don't worry, despite the second version having Pro in its name, it's not because it's a subscription or paid data pack. That would be extremely cringe. The first version is the base version I played during episodes, with a few tweaks. The tweaks just being the tier requirements saying that it's a true win without exploits, and also a change in the S tier clear condition since going to the nether kills you instantly. Now comes the second version of the data pack, which I am much more excited to show you guys, which is the Season 2 Pro Data Pack set. This is an upgraded version of the data packs that have simple, yet somewhat effective changes that discourage cowardly tactics, like, you know, what I did during my last set of attempts in Episode 3. And before you guys ask, no, no, and absolutely hell no, I am not making episodes with this data pack. Maybe during my own time or in a special event I'll play it, but in terms of YouTube content, I'm absolutely done with the One Health Hardcore series for now. So, the first change I made to this pro data pack was a significant nerf to sky bridging. The change I made to discourage sky bridging was that the wall goes about 3 times faster when you sneak because I feel like sneaking is necessary to safely and reliably sky bridge without falling. What this means is even if you speed bridge as demonstrated here, the wall will still overtake you. So hopefully this will dissuade people from sky bridging to progress in the challenge with this version of the data pack. The second significant change I made is that mining dirt blocks will make the wall go about 3 quarters of a block closer every single time. This is done to discourage people from just digging dirt underground to evade enemies at night. As an added bonus, it discourages sky breaching even further, but that isn't really the point of this change. One last change I forgot to mention is that both versions of the data pack now shows how many times you log out in your attempt. The reason for this is to discourage the use of an overpowered logout exploit in Minecraft that was made aware by my friend RGS. Basically, the moment you're about to get hurt from any source, whether it's being surrounded by enemies, fall damage, or even lava, all you have to do is just log out, log back in, and boom, you now have 3 seconds of invulnerability, bypassing that moment of damage completely. You can now see how abusing this exploit could ruin the entire point of the challenge. Keep in mind that I didn't make too much of an effort to discourage the use of this exploit, such as like killing the player when their logout counter hits one or anything of that sort, since I understand that people do genuinely need breaks in between attempts for any reason at all other than the exploit. This means that if any of you want to use the exploit, there's nothing really stopping you from doing it, but just know that using it isn't the intended way of beating the challenge. So yeah, I guess that's it for the data pack video. Let me know about your own experiences with the data pack in the comment section below. Take care you guys, I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.